Hey, it's Metagosis Perfectionist, where medicine makes perfect sense, and today we'll talk about a xanthine oxidase inhibitor known as allopurinol. That being said, now let's get started. We have talked about the management of gout in the previous video, so please watch these videos in order. This is my rheumatology playlist. So I've been telling you about Picmonic before, now, officially, we have partnered together. Yes, indeed, it's happening, and they have given me permission to share something epic with you, so please stick around. So here's the purine synthesis, and this is the purine degradation, hypoxanthine into xanthine and uric acid. What's the enzyme here? Xanthine oxidase. How do we inhibit it? Allopurinol or febuxostat. Treatment of gout. How do you do it? There's the acute gout and the chronic gout. Acute gout, non-steroidals, steroidals, or col colchicine. How does colchicine work? It inhibits neutrophil chemotaxis. Chronic gout, decrease production or increase excretion using allopurinol or febuxostat because they are xanthine oxidase inhibitor. Propane acid will inhibit the reabsorption of uric acid. The resburicase and pyglotocase will destroy the uric acid. If you remember my hematology playlist, we have talked about myeloproliferative and lymphoproliferative disorders before. Myeloproliferative, in all of them, you have increased level of RBCs, granulocytes, and thrombocytes. The myeloproliferative neoplasms are many, including CML, and you have polycythemia vera, and essential thrombocytos. In all of them, you have increased RBCs, white blood cells, and platelets. But in CML, it's mostly basophils. In polycythemia vera, it's mostly RBCs. In essential vera, it's mostly platelets. Myeloproliferative neoplasm. We have polycythemia vera. There is predominantly increased number of RBCs. Essential thrombocytosis, platelets. CML, basophils. So how is that related to allopurinol? Look at this, all of them have rapid cell turnover because there is proliferation, nucleus breakdown and turnover leading to purine metabolism, uric acid, and can precipitate the gouty attacks. Of course, before we can make uric acid, we need xanthine oxidase. So xanthine oxidase is responsible for the formation of uric acid. What if we can inhibit the, this xanthine oxidase using allopurinol or febuxostat? We can prevent the formation of uric acid. Bingo. We have talked about all of them and the genetic problems and all of this in my hematology playlist. And here is case number two for you. The previous case is in my rheumatology playlist. Please read it, pause, and let me know the answer in the comment section. So now I understand why do we use allopurinol in gout, and I understand why do we use it in myeloproliferative neoplasms. How about tumor lysis syndrome? You have a tumor and then your doctor is giving you chemotherapy. Tumor has what? Rapid proliferation, proliferation, and this rapid destruction of the tumor, destruction, destruction. Tumors have cells, cells have nucleus, and nucleus has DNA, DNA has purines. Purine degradation will yield uric acid. How did purine metabolism yield uric acid? Xanthine oxidase, baby. What if we can inhibit it using allopurinol? You will prevent the formation of uric acid. Allopurinol, what's the mechanism? Xanthine oxidase inhibitor. Uses chronic gout, hyperuricemia, tumor lysis syndrome, myeloproliferative neoplasm, side effects, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, rash, hypersensitivity reactions, and they were discussed in detail in the previous video. Drug drug interaction, do not give it with azathioprine or 6 mercaptopurine. If you have to, please lower the dose of azathioprine or 6 mercaptopurine. Also, if you decide to use allopurinol, you need to monitor or adjust the dose if the GFR is too low. Fiboxostat is similar to allopurinol, however, I have good news and bad news. Good news, there is no need to adjust the dose based on the GFR. Bad news, it's more expensive. So allopurinol and fiboxostat can be used in all of these conditions such as chemotherapy, leukemia, tumor lysis syndrome, myeloproliferative neoplasms, anemias, and even psoriasis. And now to the best part of the lecture. This is Picmonic, man. Look at this. This is gout. Gout here is goat. Gout, goat. And we have two goats. This goat is acute gout, and this one is chronic gout. Acute. Look at this acute angle. How can we treat acute gout? Non-steroidals, glucocorticoids, and colchicine. Non-steroidals, NSAIDs, NSAIDs. Look at this. This is an N that is sad. NSAIDs. Glucocorticoids, gluco, here is a glue, and quarter, and then on steroids. How about colchicine, a cult of cheese? What's the mechanism of action of colchicine? It inhibits leukocyte chemotaxis, chemotaxi, and leukocyte, here is leuk. That was acute gout. How about the chronic gout, the crone goat? Xanthine oxidase inhibitors, 
Xanthine oxidase, xylophone oxidase. And inhibition, these are the chains. Allopurinol fibroxostat, allopurinol, allopurana, and fibroxostat is the fat boxer. Or to treat chronic gout, you can give drugs that will inhibit the reabsorption of uric acid, such as probanosid, and this is the probe. So to treat acute gout, you will need non-steroidals, steroidals, or colchicine. How does colchicine work? It inhibits leukocyte chemotaxis. To treat chronic gout, you either use xanthine oxidase inhibitors such as allopurinol and fibroxostat, or you probe me with probanosid to inhibit the reabsorption of the unicorn, I mean uric acid. But wait, it gets better. If you click on the review button at Picmonic, now it's empty. Now you can recall it. So let's practice recall, guys. Why not? What was here? The acute goat. What was here? The chronic goat. How do you treat acute gout? We had non-steroidals here. We had the glucocorticoids. And we had the cult of cheese. And they work by inhibiting glucoside chemotaxi. Cool. How do you treat chronic gout? You either give a xanthine oxidase inhibitor. Remember the oxidase. And this was allopurinol and fibroxostat. Or you probe me with probanosid because it will inhibit uric acid reabsorption. Now let's check it again, and as you see here, we were correct. Pause the video and look at this picture again. And then after each picmonic, they give you a quiz so that you can test your knowledge. Which medication's mechanism of action is the inhibition of xanthine oxidase? And the answer, of course, is allopurinol. If allopurinol is not an option, choose fibroxostat, XO for xanthine oxidase, and stat for inhibition. And even, like, it gets better. This were the location of allopurinol. Socrates once said the unexamined life is not worth living. Medicosis says the unpicmonic life is not worth living. What are you waiting for? Go to picmonic.com slash VIP hookup slash medicosis. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Just click on this link to help the channel. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionellus, where medicine is fun and makes perfect sense. Go to Picmonic, guys.